Okay, so I'm looking for funny news, not serious news, but random good news because it's going to be Monday soon. I have to balik kerja tomorrow, and I've spent the last three days recovering from COVID. Having said that, I really cannot complain. You know, at least now, I'm not coughing nonstop anymore. I can actually talk nonsense on this podcast. But if you're like me, you want to relax and hear some happy news for the next five minutes or so. I don't know how long this segment is going to be. Let's go. And we are looking at my favorite trashy website called says.com. The first headline is about dogs. These two dogs, unable to contain their excitement seeing their owner after 486 days. Let me see. It says here their owner was stuck in Singapore for the last 16 months because of lockdown. Yeah, that's right. This was big news because on Friday, 1st of April, the border finally opened between Malaysia and Singapore, and this owner is one of the people who would finally balik kampung to see his family. Except this article is not about his family; it's about his dogs. I mean, look at that! You know they are huge, huge dogs. My goodness, but good for him lah. They really, really love him.、Uh, good thing he doesn't have cats. I have cats. They lari long time ago already. Don't care about you, man.、Uh, moving on, another piece of news about Singaporeans again. Yeah, thank you, Singapore, for your entertainment value. This time, you guys are in Thailand. It says here the Singaporeans visit a street vendor in quotes street vendor, only to realize that they've gate crashed a wedding, and the locals welcome them with open arms. Well, come on, you know, are you sure or not? Maybe they knew it was a wedding. And maybe they're just trying to score some free makan. They act blur, but it says here they realized their mistake. They tried to leave, but the locals insisted that they fill their bellies, and that is ah、oh, just so sweet. But you know what? In Malaysia, I'd like to think that we would do the same thing. You know, jemput makan at this kenduri. Please eat all you want, but after that, we'll give you a bill. Two hundred ringgit, please, per person. <laughs> okay, since we are making fun of Singaporeans, not the intention,、uh, but since that's the theme, let's go to a Singaporean website to see things from their perspective. And this is Mothership SG. And、uh, look at that—the same news about the two dogs. There you go.、Uh, but also,、uh, not shy, man. This is pretty insane news. Apparently, apparently, you can buy a life-sized figure of Lee Kuan Yew. Founder of Singapore, you can buy a wax figure of Lee Kuan Yew for twenty one thousand sing. And what you would do with it, I don't know. Maybe he will inspire you not to eat chewing gum or to sing Majula every morning when you wake up. Now, I actually know the words to Majula, having worked there in Singapore for five years. But yeah, I wonder who would buy this.、Uh, you can buy other figures as well. Apparently, you can buy Donald Trump. <laughs> or Jackie Chan,、oh. or the scariest one,、uh, Will Smith. <laughs> that's the scariest one.、Uh, but that's enough silliness from me. Thank you, everyone, for your well wishes. As you can tell, I'm a lot better now. I have a lifetime supply of honey lemon drinks thanks to a four-liter bottle of lemon juice I got from Amazon. I'm not going to drink the whole thing. I'm not crazy. But yeah, a lot better now. Hope you're feeling better as well. Have a good week. Take care and God bless. Bye bye.